Welcome everyone to the 305 Goddess channel. I appreciate you all for being here, tuning in, subscribing, liking the videos, the love in the comment section. Here we are today to talk about what's going on with Diara and Ken. <clears throat> they were set out to get married. They were soulmates that were engaged. Let's see what the energy has to say. journey they are both on a journey let me see if I can okay yeah they are both on a journey okay let's see seems as if we got some information that somebody wanted to journey out of the relationship Okay, the thinking man, probably thinking too damn much, <clears throat> overthinking things. Oh, oh my God, I hate when it's happening. Deceit, hostilities, everything reverse, envy, indecision, thinking too much, cornucopia, deceit. So someone did someone fell out of out of their element. So they, you know, deceived the other person. It was envy outside of the relationship. <clears throat> I'm hearing how the other woman envied the relationship, so there's no problem with breaking it up. But it was a decision. <clears throat> that came through from somewhere else and you know they weren't in a beautiful place at the time so it wasn't like he was cheating but since they were in a relationship so it's like if you if that if people have a conversation you know he doing too much thinking and not conversing what's behind his victory So here we are, the Empress sitting all pretty, right? I mean, this is like an eight year karma I'm hearing. I don't know how long they was together. So yeah, they were a very great couple together. But somehow somebody seen the opportunity other than what was there now that, that's what's going on and end up carrying this burden probably not aware of what care what burden they was going to end up carrying that's what they decided to do So they were trying to come about a heartbreak. I heard he had them did it before. Here we are with a celebration. So it's more so like, you know, trying to get over this energy and fix the foundation that was already crumbling. But with the decision, indecision, which made the decision, 
to a source reverse because they weren't clear what they were doing, but they know they wanted more. So that's just what they went out and did, trying to build more in the midst of this one relationship. So they're not taking the right opportunities. The opportunity is way off. I mean, if he would have just said, you know what, let's take a break because I'm not happy. That's the indecision part, thinking too much. Out of your element. Deceiving yourself, not really the other person, but deceiving both parties in the same mission. Because all you got to do is tell me I'm okay with it. Something like that. Okay, here we are. Ten of Cups. Yeah, and your happy ending. She was a part of it. It would have ended better if you would have ended it better. <clears throat> yeah, the world taking its turn after, you know, them not taking the opportunity to, to take it right. And now there's no love wanting to be the... Um, Ken supposedly been new to person. Well, this happened before, like I said. And here we are not blindfolded to what's really going on. So if he cheated before, he, that means he wasn't happy. So he's still looking. But instead of him breaking up, they probably continue to make some money. And here we are not even uh, tormented about it. So one, he not really conflicted with himself on all this shit going on. And two, it don't seem like Diara is conflicted either. It's like, oh, well, I mean, I know what it could come to because it happened before. So here we are in a happy ending and don't need the strength. It is what it is. They, they, they life was like their energies was not strong enough to be together. They probably was faking it till they made it. Here we are, the high priestess telling me. And they are so cute together, you would think that, you know, everything was gravy in the pot. But that shit is hot in that pot. Just like right now, they in this hot seat. But, you know, it's good. You know, it's kind of, <clears throat> you can learn something from them. They kept their business quiet. Shit still got found out, but point being, you just thought they was all lovey dovey. In reality, they was going through some shit in this storm, so it looked like they finally gonna move out this storm together. To be honest, it's it like they still gonna be together if you ask me, because they they really happy with each other, <laughs> and they don't need the strength. They just don't want to go forward with each other right now. But the other thing, like she still love them. Right, and here we are, but ain't no love to give. I love you, but I don't have nothing to give to you right now. And you should be clear that, but you're not. You're probably trying to figure out what's wrong with me, know what's wrong with you. Figure out what's wrong with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, and let's move out of this storm. It just seems as if they still want to be together, but... <clears throat> I would say he don't like her like she like him. That's what I would say. Just as much as you would think, they have it all together. I just need one more card so I can complete this little storyline. There we go. Okay, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They was together for a lot of money. They made a lot together. They, you know... Here we are, and they contemplated that, especially probably after the first time. <clears throat> they got a lot of money to get together. <laughs> they make a lot of money. I don't know how they'll take the energy, but we'll see what's next. Okay, yeah, Eight of Swords blindfolded to even how to go forward. Okay. So I do see they have options. Mm 
and look like they're gonna hold on tight and try to make it work and try to um see if it's really for them because you know as they get back together it's just like uh it's better not happen no more whatever whatever try two times three times more double energy coming in just toxic and they, that's not what they show that's the good part <laughs> but it's just like uh-uh honey yeah, a tower moment coming in. Somebody gonna be just so heartbroken. <sighs> so it just seems as if that fucked up the relationship. That would that broke the camel's back, if you ask me. So as they hold on tight to the relationship, um, it look like either somebody will go snooping, okay, and find more information or more information gonna come to them, and then it's gonna be an end to that energy instantly and be blindfolded and blind. I can't believe this really happened. So now it's not it's it's not it's like nobody doing nothing wrong anymore it's just whatever you decide to sit on and here we are um six of swords coming back to each other heartbroken ain't nothing wrong just coming back to each other whether they have to do with karma or not so that's just what the, they have to deal and they blindfolded to it but they just going back in back and forth in and out this storm it's like if somebody broke your heart move on <laughs> If it's that heartbreaking. But we'll see. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so some even give and take. See, Diara love him, so she'll help him out. See, Ken gonna go broke after this, you know, after the allegations, right? So now he broke, and the foundation fucked up, and he's still passionate, and she can still make the magic happen. So she still can help him, and she gonna probably, she gonna do that, some even give and take. Jesus. Bless her the heart. Bless her little heart. That's why it's no deceit. He not he can't be cheating on her. The, the fuck keep happening and you can <laughs> Cornucopia all uncomfortable. Everybody uncomfortable. He uncomfortable. She uncomfortable because of his uncomfortability. I mean, they just have an agreement. Okay, let's just work together and make money. We can make the couple shit happen however it is but that's what it is it's just they not that's not a, i would hate not to call them a real couple this shit just amazes me this is really amazes me every time i be picking up these cards i'm gonna put these shits down we had a double energy just coming more in toxic as fuck and it might be addictions and all that to each other but they balancing and happy as fuck. <laughs> You're not finna keep cheating on me. I don't know what the fuck going on over there, but stuck like a bitch. Sound like uh, Twin Flame. That's not a world of energy. Balancing, going forward, being happy. And all this mess. Stuck. Keeping themselves stuck. I don't even see where it's a happy stuck. They're just happy. And he gaining his momentum back. He getting more money. Right? So she gonna flip it for him. And here we are. Them back on the road to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. They're on tight, no, you fucking loud as fuck.
okay y'all hey man won't go away they are stuck in this position right so let me see if it's good or what finally moving out this storm together mm -hmm. finally just stop it celebrating okay having the strength to get over it what happened and being clear what happened and not communicating what so let's go further so whether he gonna stop fucking off on her or they stop fucking with each other let me see okay fighting hard for something you know you gotta get your life back and here we are, two of cups, because you want to find some true love and put it into all that dumb shit. Some, they don't want to end what they have, but it's calling them to be independent. I don't know about single from each other, but it, they sure know how to find some independence in this. Because you can't feel sorry for this energy if somebody keep circling in this bitch. So I do decide, like, uh, someone choose, that's what they're going to be because that's, that's what they love. For the time being so i don't know if he gonna cheat on her again but this energy is not and yeah, there's a wish fulfillment coming in let me see someone taking the opportunity because it's there it's there so i'm gonna take it because it's a star it's making them power moves And they're going to stay together and fight that out. Keep going back. Because they're like, what's better than this? Stuck. I just need about two more cards to conclude this. Yeah, she's not even passionate. This shit going to drain the fuck out of her. She need to go be the star she is and get up out of this mess. But, like, I mean, we all agree they're cute together. They make a lot of money together because we think they fucking cute together. But, child, please. Child, please. You got to be with someone who really want to be with you. This is one more card. There we go. Oh, two more. We have some lovers. Okay. She need to find her one. He need to find him one. And they're going to have to decide to do that to be the emperor until he gets scraped. So it's like, she's not going to be scraped until he gets scraped. <clears throat> he has to get scraped. And maybe when she depleted her passion, he'll get scraped. Is that what he does? You know, karma to drain her ass? But, um... It's like, she upside down, but he... He uh, right, but he he broke like she can help him, but not much. When you put her upside down, if you sit her up right, she can help you make more. Hope, keep hope, right in your heart. She really loves him to give him this opportunity, but eventually it looked like she, you know, she fucking drained from this and he just sitting there right now. He, they, she, he won't even face, he can't face her. Anyhow, a single loving act can transform the world. Won't even do it. And usually when this, when you, once you do it, it's over. If you, once you do it, that shit over and, it, and then you don't want to accept the karma that comes after that. You be trying your hardest and then blaming it on other people. When that's what happens after you make decisions like this. When you indecisive and you can't make the right, uh, you know, the ones that's going to lead you to the prosperous road or whatever. Healing needs some healing bad. Are you trying to heal it right? <clears throat> Sometimes I feel like I can't, I can't because that karma kicking the ass. Abuse. Just abuse the opportunity. And I don't even see twin flame here. Usually that should have come out because I don't need they don't they'll never pay for a reading right here for this. 
But you know, I'm expecting it to come out. But I see soulmate energy. That's what happened when you abuse your soulmates. You lost all your little money. Because imagine if they broke up, they became just friends. You know, they found out, y'all found out it was dating other people. But y'all continue to watch them because they continue to make money until they find someone else. Okay. But you want to hide the fact that we did it. People just go around every fucking thing they truly got to do. Health. Do the shit that's healthy for you. Make sense of it. Need some assurance, right? They didn't have it. They didn't assure each other. Only thing that was assured was the bag. That was the only thing assured. Everything else was abuse. Just doing each other dead ass motherfucking wrong. Not communicating. And even if you want to say she wasn't doing him wrong, she she even doing herself wrong by sitting there, going through the motion without bringing out any emotion. Just dealing. That's dead ass wrong. Not healthy for you, right? Communication, I'm telling you, you have fucking none at all. Manifestation. This is what they manifested. It was working for them. It's just waiting till they find what's next. I don't see them leaving each other. That's the funny part. But that's like, and continue. Let's see what happens on the next episode but i do see where she gonna be depleted and he gonna be sitting so fucking strong how that happened somebody need to focus and have some faith in that hope and get the healing so you find some balance all right ken and dr i love you babies jesus mm. no judgment here thank you guys for tuning in to the 305 goddess channel Check, check, babies. Later, have a great one. Don't go out and do nothing that you don't want done to you. That's the point. Learn how to communicate and get things done. Look here. You know, all of a sudden, I don't know where it comes from. I'm not feeling you no more. And I'm feeling this person. So, I, I feel like putting my focus somewhere else just for a minute. Well, you dead ass running. All right, forgive me. But, okay, let's just break up. Just for right now, if you don't feel comfortable, because I'm telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? And then again, a lot of people cannot handle the truth, so help me. God, get it off you. Need some healing. Woo! <clears throat> Ooh, I love you, baby. It's just so sad. Okay, later. Mwah.